Welcome back to the channel. It's been about a year since I've done anything on the 53 Dodge Pilot House. I know the last video I had titled it lifting the cab off of it, but we never actually got there. So today what I want to do is get this cab off and get it, start working on it, get it, say, you know, sanded down in primer so it don't just sit here, rust away, and then also uh, start working on the frame before winter gets in here. So here's the setup real quick. Uh, what I'm going to do is I just have the old uh, engine hoist and I have two two by sixes. Actually, there's a two by eight and the reason they're two by eights is because it's what I had laying around. And I just kind of made a little makeshift lifting thing here. The arm, you can see the tire, tire iron goes through and where the chain hook would have gone through the hoist. I just put that through there so it's kind of two-sided and it's stuck through the doors and the intent is to just try to lift this thing straight up and I have the Kubota setting right over there and I'm going to come in underneath pick the frame up and drive it out so let me get you back in the stand and we'll see how this goes all right let's see if we can get this thing to lift up I hope I don't have anything attaching it there might be, I'm not going to say there's not. I certainly don't expect it to go completely smooth. I mean, nothing ever does, right? I'm sure I'm forgetting something. And hopefully, this board, I'm a little concerned it's starting to tip that way. So I might have something on this side. All right, I think it's just balanced a little bit more where it's sliding that way. So I think what I want to do to correct that is I got another strap right here. And I'm just going to loop it around and pull this board down a little bit to get her leveled up. Because I, I didn't do any test uh, lifting or nothing like that pre-video. Pre and I figured I'll just try it. Now, you can see where it's leveling out, leveling the body out a little bit there. That's good. And I'm hoping I have enough reach on this. I should. And it looks now, actually... I might be coming this way a little much. This strap. I have to loosen this up a little bit. There. Get her level out a little more. Yeah, I think we're all right. And if I strap it down a little more, back towards me, I might be able to clear that piece over there. Because I really don't want to lift this up too high. And that kind of cleared me a little bit better. All right, I think I got something not bolted, but just hanging up here a little bit. I'm going to have to get these cables all out of the way. I don't need them dragging on the frame either. And I still have, yeah. All right, I got a couple wires here. Everything's gonna get rewired. I'm gonna get a pair of snips. Just cut these wires, get them out of the way.
A lot of these are kind of spliced in there anyway. All right. So I don't see, I'm not seeing any more wires. All right. So I'm gonna jump on a Kubota here. I gotta go this way. Now I have a gas tank. I didn't think about that gas tank. I might have to lift the front up, pull it over, and then do the same with the back. Because that gas tank on the frame is right where I want to put my forks. But let me stick it under there, stick the forks under there, see what happens. And also have the um, travel with the suspension on the frame so I'm sure there's some give there I'm gonna to have to account for. Got a brick in my way. Alright we'll just come under here real slow. And I got a dodge Because that tank's there, I think what I want to try first is maybe grabbing one side of this frame. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get it. And unfortunately, the fork is right where the gas tank is. So I'm going to move behind the front car. Uh, before I do this, let me, uh, I'm going to relocate you on the camera. Because I don't know what you're looking at right now. Alright, so I'm going to try to slide under this one car. See if I can't pick it up. And I got a bucket. My bucket for my uh, Kubota is sitting right here to my right, so I got to be careful of that. But I want to see if I can't just come right here, lift the front up a little bit, and slowly come back, see if I can't drag it out. Let down a little too far. Now that I feel the weight of this frame on this Kubota, I'm not sure it would have picked it up all the way with the. Uh, wheels, the axles and everything on it. And that tank, I don't know what's in it. It might be empty. So I'm going to swing around. Try to do the same on the back car. And I'm hoping I didn't put you guys in my way. And with this big old brush hog on the back, I better be careful not to whack the tree right there. So I've got to maneuver around a little bit. pine trees behind me. All 
I got that one piece. Good, it's going to clear. I think I better watch out for this tree. I'm about ready to hit this tree on my back. And I'm getting ready to hit you. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to temporarily set these bricks right in these corners and lower it down on there. Except this one might interfere with my... Now I get it down there a little lower, I'll have to push the forwards off. We'll lower it down slowly. And I don't want to let it down too fast to cock it too far one way either. I have to redo, I'm gonna loosen, have to loosen this strap up and pull it through a little easier, a little more. There, and let her down a little more. Where's your box lining up at anywhere? Right here. Get you in there. All right. And let her down. Gotta adjust this front one a little bit. Now, concern here is I gotta have enough room to get these legs out. I might have to unpin them all the way and pull pull the legs off separately. That might be a better. I think I might just do that anyway, to be honest with you. All right, she's sitting down. No, that worked pretty good. I'm happy with it. And as you can see, it worked out pretty good. Didn't have no issues with it. Um, probably end up just saving this, put it back on, throwing it somewhere. So for now, temporarily, it's just sitting on these four blocks. All right, so here's the plan. I have this two inch angle iron here. It's um, 3 16 inch thick. Probably could have got away with eight. That would have done just fine. And I'm just going to lay it over where the body mounts are 
and then I want to repeat that process on the other side, tie it together, flip it over, weld it up, and then I'm just going to build, you know, just kind of make it a little box or something. And the purpose for that is I'll be able to flip it upside down and it will match up perfectly to the body mounts under the cab. And then I'll be I'll have a platform to set the cab down on and I'll be able to use the forks on the uh, tractor over there to pick it up, pull it in the garage when I want to work on it, um, just move it around. So that's the next step and let me get on that.